First question I want to ask, would you introduce yourselves, uh, just go down, and tell us a little bit about your group. My name is Llewellyn Moore. We had five in our group of ladies that met every Monday night. We met at a restaurant, which was nice. It just kind of eased the atmosphere, and we got to know each other very well and got to learn about each other and needs and prayers and learned a lot. Neat. I'm Cheryl Lumbert, and I was in discipleship with Llewellyn and with Tanya. Um, so I really don't have anything to add about what she said. I guess you're going to ask us more questions later, but yeah, that, that was our group. I'm LJ Salito. I met with um, Ron Moore and his son Michael and Michael Wheeler on Fridays in the morning. So that's the best of us for us to meet uh, together to meet a discipleship group and, of course, husband to Tanya on the end. My name is Ron Moore, and I was the discipleship leader for our group. <clears throat> and we thought the best time would be Friday mornings for us. Um, we had a we had a little niche of time there that we could um, all conveniently. I'm off work on Fridays. LJ doesn't go into work till a little later on Fridays, and Mike and Mike were both off on Fridays. So Friday mornings at the McDonald's on uh, Hofner and Conway, we met over there. And it, there's sometimes when one of us couldn't meet, like if LJ couldn't meet, we would meet without him and we would go more up in the Soto area. So that's kind of what we did. Technical difficulties. I'm Tanya Salido. I'm wife to LJ, and I was in the group with Llewellyn and Cheryl. A um, little ner new for me. I'm not usually one to get out and be a part of a small group. I like to be by myself and do my own little things, so it was stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit, but learned a lot, kept me accountable, um, and it really just helped me remember to pray for the ladies all during the week. We shared prayer requests, and, you know, it was Wednesday. We did, met on Monday, and by Wednesday... I'm going, all right, Lord, where's this prayer going? What's happening? And just wanting to know what's going to happen with the ladies the next week and continuing throughout the week. And so now for the rest of these questions, just anybody who wants to speak out. Not everybody has to speak out to every question. Uh, how would you say your disciple group helped you to grow spiritually this year? I think one of the things that it, it did, it, it brought to the forefront a reminder, basically, saying that we need to be in the Word. We need to pray for these other fellows, and we need to just kind of like um, be accountable for what we do. And it was a weekly reminder of things in that sort. I would add uh, the accountability to me was that, you know, it's one thing to like be in a Bible, say like a Beth Moore or whatever, but you can come and go and nobody's really calling you out. But we had to, you know, a, a commit to pray for each other and then we knew we'd have asked each other those questions Did you have a quiet time this week so I think I better have a quiet time because they're going to ask me so you know just the accountability was good that's good it increased my prayer life just to know the little things versus the big things um, that we can pray and know that God answers our prayers that's good well, that and well, hello. being able to share with each other, I mean, situations that we, that we have faced, um, in some instances in the past, in some instances, and the other person facing it currently, being able to, to pray about that situation with one another, mm. Mm. and just be able to, to fellowship as well. I mean, not just in the aspect of consuming food, but to spiritually fellowship with each other, just to share with one another. Yeah, the, uh, it reminds me, we had a, another ladies group where one of the ladies was going through some really tough times uh, in her marriage, and the whole group just loved on and encouraged. I mean, it's because you don't know what you're going to go through that year, and, and that your group is there to care, to care for you. Can you uh, share just a memory or something that happened during the year that, that you treasure, or that you think about, wow, that was, that was different, it was, I will always remember that. Yeah, I have one uh, real quick story. Um, there's a gentleman that works at the McDonald's right over here in Soto named Perrin. And he's a godly Christian man. And he says, hey, I like that y'all are reading the Word and that you're studying. He goes, what is the guide you're studying? 
So I showed him the booklet and all the aspects of it. And he said, I'd like to get a copy of that. So I said, I'll be glad to make you a copy of that, Perrin. And I made a copy, and we kind of like fellowship with the two of us, and it was awesome. I mean, we're presenting a witness by just being in a public venue and studying the Bible. Not only that, but when we would get together at the one up by me on Conway and Hoffner, there was another, there's a ladies group that would meet, they're from Conway First Baptist, mm -hmm. and they would meet at the same time that we were meeting, and it just so happens one of them I had known because her stepmom used to attend here mm -hmm. a long time ago, and just to see people there that you can recognize, that you can talk with, and one of the ladies from there, she knew Mike Wheeler from another church that they both attended at the same time, so just to have that connection and to have two groups at the same time be meeting to fellowship in God's Word. Yeah, that's neat. The big body of Christ, all one, one church. All right, so last question. Um, what would you do the same, and what would you do differently in a, the, your next disciple group? I'll answer that. Okay. <laughs> Tell us what you think, Tanya. I think that I love fellowship, and I love going to and doing different things. Um, so that was fun because it kind of got me out of my comfort zone a little bit. What I would do differently is I would do longer. We need to have a year-round discipleship where we're all together meeting all year round because I think now that we're not meeting for this summer, I miss it and I'm going, oh, I need my group right now. Um, so I think meeting in maybe a year-round, I know it's hard for us because a lot of us are teachers and have things going on. Um, but just meeting longer, maybe year-round, and even branching out a little bit and starting newer groups, and mm -hmm. you know, maybe two or three of us start another group and yeah. meet another day and That's good. do that. Yeah, because uh, the group only, there's what, 20, 25 weeks? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's up to each group, you know, when you're done, you, you're done, or you could keep going, yeah, to however you want to do it. One thing that I talked to the gentlemen in my group, and they said, I, I said, would you guys even though we're done with the booklet, consider every other week possibly just getting together and praying and studying the Bible. And they're, they're all three of them were like, yeah, 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 let's keep it going. So That's good. To caveat on that, when we talked about it, the other thing that we had discussed when meeting on um, leading up is the Friday before the kids go back to school, meeting and praying for the kids. Yeah. Because I have three myself that are coming back. But to think of all the kids that they encounter yeah. that may not know God, that may not be Christians. Those Maybe are, even standing in front of the school and praying. Be one of, by one of the schools. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. It's a good idea. Uh, you hear they mentioned several times about working through the Disciple Group book, and we have a bunch of these down front that you could come take a look at afterwards. They're hiding down here. But... It's, it's, these are the, some of the basic things of what it means to be a follower of Christ. And in each notebook, it just has uh, different sheets that you could go through. There are things that every one of us need to review every year. So it's, it's like you stop and you go through them. Now that you're done, you never have to do it again. No, you go back and you review these things again with your group the following year too. So thank you guys for, for sharing with us this morning. We appreciate you. It was thrilling uh, to hear your stories. And I hope God's going to do some great things in your group next year, too. Thank you. Would you give them a hand, please?